let's talk about why you feel defeated. I get questions all the time around why don't I have or I'll be happy when or all I really want is just to be happy. I want to feel free. But it feels like every time I uh, try to do something, it always fails. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. That's the reason why you feel defeated. Because you have that container or that mindset that tells you that in order for you to have anything in life, you're going to have to work hard at getting it. Now here's the thing. There's nothing wrong at working hard. However, when we are so attached to working hard or grinding or hustling there it often comes with a question of what am i compromising in order to make that hustle and that grind work for me and oftentimes people compromise their health they compromise their me time they compromise how they want to feel in order to have and then when they don't get what they actually want and they feel like they've worked so hard to get it, there's this gap that makes them feel like I failed. I'm a failure. I tried. I did all this work and still I didn't get what it is that I wanted. It's a waste of time. I shouldn't even try to begin with. And then you ultimately feel defeated. You feel like a failure. You feel like... Everything you tried just didn't work. And the only way to really get out of that mindset, out of the defeated mindset, out of the failure mindset, is to start rewiring that story, rewiring the story and rewriting the story. So you want to rewrite the story to a story of the present moment. What do I have right now that's serving me? I have a breath. I have a body. I have uh, ability to pay bills, maybe certain bills. I have uh, some food or a lot of food. I have transportation or I have the ability to walk to get to transportation or I have friends who can take me to places or I have the ability to get an Uber, right? What do you have in your circumstance that is actually happening for you right now? Can you sit with that? Can you see it? Can you pay attention to it? Because if you can pay attention to it and you can sit with it and you can notice it, you can like see what's happening, that is your success. Those things are not failures because in order for you to have gotten exactly to where you are right now, you have to let something else go right before that. And that thing you had to let go of right before that was the thing you were really hoping to let go of so that you could get right here. And now that you're here, you're like, damn it, I want something different. So you're never defeated. You're just recycling old energy. And in order to create something new, fresh and vital, you're gonna have to let go of some of that old defeated energy that old energy of failure, that old energy of things don't go my way and I have to work hard to get it in order for you to step into the reality and look at what you actually already have. Like I have these things. There's things that I can look at. There's things that I can pinpoint. And then once you see that, take a moment to sit in gratitude. Be thankful. Start with a, 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 a practice of saying, I am grateful for dot, dot, dot. You can do this every day. You can do this at night. You can do this in the evening. You can do it consistently throughout the week. However you want to create this routine, but doing it one time is not going to change anything. So you're going to have to do it multiple times over and over again. This is why there is a power in repetition. There's, this is why there's a power in consistency. And this is why there's a power in learning how to just be right here in the present moment, acknowledging what is already in existence for you, not holding too tightly onto the goal, having a goal, but not holding on too tightly to it, being flexible, knowing that at any given moment, the road and the path could change 
in order for me to get to that goal, even my goal could change. And that's okay too. Because even if you got to that goal and you came with that defeated mindset, you're never going to see what you actually have when you get there. Because you're in a space right now that tells you, I can't see what it is that I'm looking at. So in order to appreciate what you're going to have, you're gonna, you have to appreciate what you do have. Appreciate what you do have right now. So let this video be a reminder to practice daily presence and daily gratitude and start with one simple thing, acknowledging what already exists for you in your life that you do have and send thanks to it.